Hello, I'm Rainer. I'm uh, here to talk about a new concept we developed uh, using very long columns. These very long UHPLC columns allow us to understand an unknown sample or an unfamiliar matrix much better. Chromatographer's dilemma is typically when we develop methods, you know, do we have enough resolution? You know, do we see all the small peaks in our samples? You know? Are we maybe interested in very complex samples where we look for very small abundant peaks? You know, how can we answer these questions very simply or very quickly without spending too much time in method development? So if we use, uh, for example, this 250 millimeter 2 micron particle column, we already have a very fantastic uh, peak capacity. We have very high resolution. We also generate, unfortunately, a lot of back pressure. By actually combining multiple of these columns, we can very easily now boost peak capacity even further. We can almost simulate a one micron particle column by just adding, for example, two of these 250 millimeter columns into one column train. To do this, you need uh, the right hardware and you need the right setup to be successful. So let me talk you through the hardware requirements and how we need to set up our system to work with these very long UHPLC columns and to be successful with our separation. So here you see the Thermoscientific Ultima 3000 XRS system, which is able to do exactly uh, what we need to do here. We have, first of all, a very spacious column compartment. As you see, I have now actually put in series two of these 250 millimeter long columns. So we have actually half a meter column in two micron particle size. To operate um, columns like this, we need to first of all have a perfect uh, temperature stabilization. That's why this column compartment can support temperatures up to 110 degrees. Yeah. So we can manage that way also the back pressure on our system. We have also a very flexible quaternary UHPLC pump with really outstanding specifications in regard to uh, pressure capabilities, flow stability, but also gradient delay volume. So with only 230 microliter uh, delay volume from point of mixing to the column head, we have a very fast response and a very controlled gradient forming in our system. We combine the 1250 bar back pressure rating of the system with our um, split loop sampler, which is able to inject your sample very quickly. So next to being able to do reliable injections into up to 1250 bar back pressure, we then have the column compartment, but we also have the stackable detector here, which allows us to do, um, in this case, a UV detection of our analytes. We can, however, use various of our very unique detection technologies like the Corona uh, Ultra RS, uh, a charged aerosol detector, or mass spec to find out even more um, about our samples by receiving a lot of data from different detection technologies at the same time. So when combining um, UV detection with mass spec, we have this very new, new designed ultra low dispersion flow cell which is really more like an indicator or matrix uh, monitor for your mass spec analysis. So it will give you a lot of matrix information which you might not see in the mass spec itself and it warns you definitely for potential ion suppression and maybe some things you miss. So with that concept I just briefly introduced here, uh, the use of multiple columns, maybe even the combination of different chemistries, is a very valid and very universal concept which will help you to very easily understand the complexity of your sample or the re resolution requirements of your sample better. And uh, by adding and combining columns, 
you first of all have a great flexibility in uh, required peak capacities and resolution power you want to utilize. You also have more column volume, which will help you to inject more of your samples, so you increase your loadability. So the very long column, very high pressure concept is a great concept to pursue for your most precious samples. It applies to a lot of different applications. It's an easy way to avoid exceptional or uh, time-consuming extra method development. And I'm sure it will really help you uh, in your daily work in the chromatography laboratory.